We're going to practice today some subtraction. If you're watching this video, my goal is to help you practice with subtraction. We're going to practice a few problems, but we're going to do them probably two different ways. Key thing I need you to remember is there are 10 digits that make up all the numbers. Those digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just telling you that just to let you know. We're going to jump right on in and we're going to start subtracting, okay? Each thing, each problem we're going to work, we're going to work in at least two different ways, okay? So let's start with 8 minus 2. And right now, all you're doing is watching the show, okay? Watch how it happens. This top number is how many I have. The bottom number is how much I want to give away. So I have 8, so let's draw what I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 8. How many do I want to give away? I want to give away 1, 2. Now how many did I, I circled the ones I gave away, so how many did I keep? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 8 minus 2 equals 6. Now, if you're using my angulus, we subtract, we're going to go this way, okay? We're going to go around, kind of like the hands on a clock. So we're going to start on how many we have, which is 8, and we're going to take 2 away. 1, 2. Where did we land? We landed on the 6, so 8 minus 2 is 6, okay? I want to make sure to show you there are different ways that we can work these, but I want to make sure that you actually find some way that's comfortable for you so that we're not always saying, I can't. The next problem that we're going to do is 5 minus 2. Remember, the top number is what you have. The bottom number is what you want to give away. So how many do I have? I have five. One, two, three, four, five. How many am I going to give away? I'm going to give away two. One, two. How many do I have left? One, two, three. Five minus two equals three. Now, we're doing this machine. Remember, subtraction is going to go this way. We're starting on the number that we have. We have five. We're going to give away two. One, two. Where did you land? You landed on number three. So five minus two is three. What you could also do is say, start at five, hold two fingers up and go backwards. You're going to have to know how to count backwards to do that one. So five, and then we're going to come backwards. The number four, before five is four. Three. So five minus two is three. You, you have you have to know how to you have to know how to count backwards to do it that way. And if you don't know how to do count backwards, then that's probably not the way for you. We're going to do seven minus one. Okay. Top number is what you have. The bottom number is what you want to give away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what you have. Now you want to give away one. How many did you not? How many did you keep? One, two, three, four, five, six. If we start on set, we're gonna do it again. Start on seven, we're gonna give one away. We land on six. So seven minus one is six. Now let's do 10 minus 2. For this one, you're going to have to do all 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 sticks there. We're going to give away 2. And I just circled both of them together. How many are left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? Now, for my machine this time, we're going to give away 2, so we're going to start here on the 0 because that's what's in the 1's place. 
and we're going to go two places back. One, two. So let me write the problem because place value is going to matter in what I'm going to explain right now. We landed on the 8, so that's going to go here. Now, we cross this star. That means we have to take an extra 1 away from what we were taking away from over here. This is 1 minus 0, so we were not taking anything away. But because we crossed this, now we have to take 1 away. So 1 minus 1 is 0. And we're not going to even have to write that, okay? Now we're going to get stuck right there. We're going to go on and do another one. Let's do... Um, let's do 17 minus 9. 17 minus 9, okay? It's going to take us a second. On this one, we're going to have to draw 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Then we're going to have to give away 9 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I circled the ones that I gave away. And so I have left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? That's how that worked if I were doing tally marks. If we were using my machine, it would look like this. Okay? A place value will matter. That's going to come into place, so I'm drawing that just to separate the place value, and that's a 1 right there. Okay? So we're going to start on our 7, and we're going to go 9 places. You ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We landed on 8. So 8 is going to go below the, in the 1's place. We have to have this conversation. Did we cross that star? Did we go from 0 to 9? The answer is yes. That means we have to take an additional 1 away from what we were taking before. So there was 1 minus nothing before, so we weren't taking anything away. Now that we cross that line, we have to take another one away, and that means 1 minus 1 is 0, and that answer is 8. So if you look, 17 minus 9 is 8. Okay? Let's do 10 minus 1. If you hold up 10 fingers, all of my fingers won't fit in the view, but if you hold up 10 fingers, do that, and drop one, do that, you end up with nine. Okay? Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give one away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? That's the second way. Third way, 10 minus 1. Place value is going to matter. I'm going to use my machine. You have the 0 in the 1's place, and you're going to give away 1. You're going to go back one step. Boom, 1. We landed on the 9. Excuse me. Did we cross the star? The answer is yes. If you cross the star, you have to take an extra one away from this side. There's no number here. You weren't taking anything away before, but now you're taking away one. So one minus one is zero, and you can leave that blank. Ten minus one is still nine. Ten minus one is still nine. Here is one. I was quiet because I wanted you to take a second to see if you actually knew it in your head or had a way to figure it out yourself. But if you didn't, I'm going to go ahead and do it. One, two, three. I had five. I took away three. I have two left. I start on five. 
and I go back three, one, two, three, I land on the number two. All right, that's all the practice we're going to have with that. Get ready to move on to the next station, please.